Moving along this week on the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast, we got some breaking news out of Dallas, Texas. Oh. Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice is the first candidate for the 2024 <laughs> NFL's biggest douchebag yes! of the year. Already tallying them up. It's just like candy, Ooh. Cole Breezy. It's like a kid walking into a candy shop. Candy's yep. everywhere. You don't know what to choose. Yep. Biggest douchebag in the NFL. It just keeps coming to us. It yep. just keeps coming to us. We don't, know what, we don't know who to choose because it's just <laughs> countless. There's just countless douchebags in the NFL. Plenty of candidates every year. I think we had seven or eight guys last year. Uh, Rasheed Rice is our first guy for the 2024 NFL's biggest douchebag of the year because on March 30th, on North Central Expressway in Dallas, Rasheed Rice was involved in a six-car crash oh. when, when he was allegedly street racing Teddy Knox, and a member of the SMU football team. They are both facing eight charges, six counts of collision involving injury, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, and one count of aggravated assault. Oh, assault too. These charges came down last Wednesday, giving Rice 24 hours to turn himself into Dallas police, which he did. The 23-year-old Rice, coming off a rookie season that ended with a Super Bowl win, was allegedly clocked at 119 miles per Ooh. hour and also fled the scene on foot along with his passengers. What was the speed on foot? That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> it was not very fast from the videos that I saw. Okay. Rice and Knox are now being sued for over $11 million. Oh, my goodness. The Chiefs are waiting for the legal process to play out before making a decision on Bryce. Max, what do you think about a six-car pileup? Rasheed Rice, Teddy Knox, almost a buck 20 on the freeway. You cause this fucking pileup, and guess what you do? You leave. You, you get out of there. What you got for me, Max? Cole Breezy, are we sure this wasn't uh, filming Fast and the Furious 13? Is that what the number they're on, by the way? Is it 11? Uh, I, 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 I might, we're going to go with 13. By the way, there 27, we go. For, we 27. already know his name. We already know his name. Rashid Fast and Furious Rice. Boom. There you go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this, this is insane. I, I can't believe this. Rashid Rice, oh, my God. This is so disappointing because he had a great rookie season, and you have the best quarterback in the game to throw it to you, which can bump your numbers, which in doing so, the number, the higher numbers you receive, the more money you're going to make. Okay. If you want to think of it that way, right? Because this is a business, right? You just won a Super Bowl. You're on top of the world and you decided to do street racing. This is so idiotic. I cannot believe how stupid these guys just tend to be. I, I, I'm at, I'm at a loss of words. I'm at a loss of words. I, I, I'm telling you right now, on my depth chart, I definitely had Rasheed Rice maybe as a top 25 wide receiver going into this season. And Number, number you know, one for the Chiefs? Or oh, definitely number one for the Chiefs. You kidding me? Yeah. Oh, man, he might be, might be top 15. He might have been a top 15 wide receiver for fantasy football, everyone. And this is, this is so disappointing. Man, I, I, well, did we at least hit up the rock? Do we hit up, the, hit up the Rock or Michelle Rodriguez or whoever the hell, uh, Ludacris for Fast and the Furious? Are we sure oh. this was in Fast and the Furious 13? Might be 27. <laughs> might, be, might be Fast and the Furious 27. Oh, my gosh. By the time that we have kids, Cole Breezy, and they're old enough to start watching those films, it probably will be up to 27. Well, there's a reason they're still making them, I guess. People but like it. Definitely a lot of guys that we've seen. Fucking speeding on highways, you know. Henry Henry Ruggs comes to mind. Um, and Jordan Addison last year was was in the was in the competition. But yeah, Rasheed Rice. I mean, he set an NFL postseason rookie record with twenty six receptions. Twenty six wow. receptions in the postseason, a wow. rookie record. This guy's coming off a Super Bowl win. Everything that it took to to make it to the NFL, and he's willing to gamble it all away for a little <sighs> for a little street racing. Okay. 
fleeing the scene for me, fleeing the scene, not even checking on the people that he hurt, these innocent people that he hurt and fleeing the scene. That's the worst thing for me. That's truly heartless, truly heartless. Rasheed Rice, I think he's done, man. I think he's done. Yeah, I think he's done. Fuck him. You know, it, one mistake. Yeah, you can't you can't kill somebody for one mistake. But damn it. He he put everybody he put everybody's safety in jeopardy, and then didn't even give a damn after he hurt him. So, for me, Rasheed Rice, see ya. the The next question, last thing on this topic, moving on from Rasheed Rice, would be the question: Who is Patty Mahomes going to throw it to, other than Travis Kelsey? Are they going to draft heavily on the wide receiver in this NFL did, draft? Did they pick up Hollywood? I think they might have picked up Hollywood Brown. Did they? Maybe. That's a, no, 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 no. He always gets hurt, though. He always gets hurt. He does. He does. Man, enjoy Let me, uh, before we move on, I just want to confirm that. I would, I would like to know the draft pick of Kansas City. Leave it in the comments, everybody. If you know Cobreezy, please toss it out. I know you're on top of these things. Because uh, there's the, the wide receiver class, which we're about to get into this year, Ooh, is pretty deep. deep. It, it's pretty deep. deep. So they might be able to find a, a, a rookie wide receiver that can give them 1,000 yards. You know, 70, 80 catch. I mean, you definitely want that out of a rookie 70, 80 catches. That'd be incredible. So they, it's a bummer. It's a bummer that that's where they have to go. Yeah. 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 Moving on from that. Rasheed Rice, he's done in Kansas City. The new number one wide receiver, Marquise Hollywood Brown. It is Hollywood Brown. Okay. That's a good pickup. That's a good pickup. Veteran. Stay healthy, though. Stay healthy. Jeez. <laughs> 